well, hi, Punitha here. And of course, I've had my first incident where I've dropped uh, my Instagram phone here. So give me a second. Hello. Hi, Punita here. I thought I'll come by here on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm doing both of them together. So if you see my eyes moving like a crazy person, you know, there's the, that's the reason. Well, maybe, right? Um, and I thought I'll drop by and say hi. Who's had a rough week, right? Me, for sure. And um, there's been a, a lot of change going on. The world is going through this tumultuous wave right now. We are surfing um, and, um, and there's so much going on, right? We, um, my family and I, we were actually away to Mexico last week for March break, of course. And while we were away, the world changed behind us. And, um, and so I, I, I've taken a few days. I had an ugly, ugly cold when we got back. And I've taken a few days to get the new rhythm. The kids have found their new rhythm, which is complete and total anarchy, right? Um, but all in a good way. Um, last Yesterday was a little bit hard, I gotta say. And then um, um, I totally felt that I didn't know what to do. Um, and then I watched an episode of Samantha B. I don't know if you watch her. She's so funny. You gotta watch Samantha B. But she said something like, um, because she was going through the same feelings of lack of control and things spiraling away from, um, from what we knew. And so she said something like, um, I don't know how to make masks. I definitely don't know how to make ventilators. Nobody's asking me to make ventilators. And it's too late to go through medical school. So that's where I am. It's too late for any of that for me. And nobody's asking me to make masks. So I'm going to do what I do best. One of those things is adapt to change. I've lived through a lot of change in my life and it's a wave, you have to surf it. And the other thing I do is cook great food. My kids will agree, I cook great food, right honey? Uh, my youngest is sitting here right now uh, in the kitchen and she's looking forward to cooking with me. We haven't done this before and definitely not on live. So excuse any technology issues that, that we have going on. They're going to be many tech issues. I have to accept it. Surf the wave. Hashtag surf the wave. Uh, but so what the other thing that happened after we came back from Mexico is, of course, we are aggressively self quarantining, uh, which means our pantry and our fridge is low on supplies. But the great thing is that we have amazing neighbors and friends and uh, because of them and of course, grocery deliveries and because of all of that and the life that we have in Canada, we are um, we are settled in quite comfortably with the things we need and whatever we whatever comes up, we either work around it or uh, um, or we order grocery delivery. So things are okay, right? Surf the wave. So today we'll make uh, granola. I wanted to share an easy recipe because, right, technology. Hi, Mel. Nice to see you. Um, I'm not going to touch the camera and wave back because I will drop the camera. I have two cameras going right now. I have one on Facebook, um, which is the horizontal, and then I have another one on Instagram. Can't believe. Um, um, hi, Yellow Fruit. Nice to see you on Instagram. Um, but I'm not going to touch anything because it'll all come tumbling down. So anyway, we're cooking today and we're adapting to change. So there's this recipe. I've made granola often and... My youngest will join us for the granola making recipe. We don't do this often. So this is my little one and she is here and she's going to help me make granola. We're going to do this. Okay, so how do we make granola? We take, what do we do? We do two cups of rolled oats. Yes, you can totally talk. She's asking, am I supposed to talk? So yes, we're, we're going to talk. We're going to do this. Um, so the good thing about this granola is that it is anti-inflammatory, immunity boosting, delicious. And if you add chocolate chips, the kids will eat it and they'll eat it because, you know, kids are hungry all the time. So um, and even more so if they're bored sitting at home. And so where so we switch places and you can see this is working out quite well. Um, right. Um, OK, so our recipe is 
Can um, I just melt this together for 30 seconds at a time? Okay, Three so times. so what uh, what she's taken over, what Sarani has taken over there is a quarter cup of um, um, peanut butter. The Instagram people can see it. I'm almost afraid to lift it up for Facebook height. But it's a quarter cup of peanut butter and maple syrup. And that goes in the microwave and we melt it and mush it together and it's... It's easy, I promise you, it's easy. This recipe is easy. Immunity boosting, anti-inflammatory, delicious. Hi, Teji, nice to see you. Um, yeah, the, we're making granola. Granola, which is an awesome snack. Kids can have it all day with yogurt or plain because, you know, everybody is on lockdown. India um, is on lockdown for 21 days. We are on lockdown for 14 days, um, which is a self-quarantine after anybody has traveled outside and we're aggressively quarantining um, so so many many reasons to make delicious granola which is what we're doing right now on Facebook and Instagram can you believe it so my daughter is now stirring it in the microwave she's going to stir it and then put it back in for 30 more seconds and while she's doing that I wanted to share with you all of the ingredients that we have going on so we've got rolled oats which are delicious I often use a mix of rolled oats and instant oats uh, because it makes it nice and lumpy, yummy. Uh, I just don't have instant oats, so I'm going with what I have in my pantry. And so I've got rolled oats, two cups. We've got a quarter cup of maple syrup and peanut butter mixing over there that my younger one is very efficiently stirring up in the microwave. And then we've got pecans, nuts. We need whole nuts. Very yummy, very inflammatory. I've got vanilla, vanilla that we brought back from Mexico. And what else do I have, honey? I think I'm missing something. We've got a little bit of sugar, uh, just a little bit of sugar because we're adding maple syrup. The sugar is just for the caramelizing. It tastes good, it's a sprinkle. And then I've got a little bit of canola oil right here. You need a little bit of fat to help it stir up really well. So that's what we're doing. And of course, I don't have all my stuff out with me. Um, I'm taking out a spatula. And boy, am I glad that you can't see my spoon drawer right now. But let's pretend it's perfect and clean. But I found a spatula, right? My daughter is laughing because it's not perfect and clean. Okay, so we're almost there. So rolled oats. We will stir in the smooshy thing. So one of the things I like about pecans and any other nuts is of course that it is um, great for snacking the other thing that I like about them is that they're so good for you I mean all the research tells us it's anti-inflammatory and hi Priyanka hi nice to see you I've got a few more people on Instagram that I can't see because the um, well I'm not tech savvy right um, and Mel says perfect is overrated right yes perfect is overrated hi Nikki yes hi you love granola too we love granola okay we're doing this oh my god I'm so glad to see a few people um, so it's perfect it's perfect honey um, and as Mel says perfect is overrated maybe it's not perfect whatever I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay she needs a dish towel because we have to be safe and the microwave is hot at this point so what we did, if you missed it, to recap, two cups of granola, a quarter cup of, so granola is right here, and then I've got a quarter cup of peanut butter and maple syrup that my daughter is mushing around to make it into. It will look very gross, but it tastes very good. Oh, nice. Say that again on camera. It, it will look. It will look very gross, but it will taste very good. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So it does look gross if you see it. I'm holding it with a dish towel because it's steaming hot. And so I will pour it in into the oats. Okay, which way? Come, come this way, honey. We're planning our, you know, our camera ready um, positions, right? Because this is how we're going to do this we're all quarantined okay if you're quarantined at home isolating for whatever reason if like us you came back from Mexico and of course you're quarantining raise your hand drop me a note because right we all got to stay at home practice social distancing wash your hands we've washed our hands like a million times um, well today well not a million but you know what I'm saying hyperbole but um, we're going to stay healthy 
and keep our germs to ourselves. Let's not cough on other people, touch other people just yet, unless you're living with them, and then you can touch them all you want, right? Okay, so we stirred this. And then we have pecans that go in it. Do the honors, please. I totally feel as if we're missing something. And I have my notes here. Um, and I will put the recipe on Instagram and on Facebook. We should totally break the pecans up a little bit, if you see here. Um, but we're not going to, because, right? Go easy. Yeah, let's go easy. That's what Serenia said. Okay, so now do we want... Um, so we need... A little bit of vanilla so you know what really makes this granola awesome is um, the fact that we mash the peanut butter and the maple syrup together it makes it easy all you need to do then is stir it around and and it coats the granola really well and granola oats itself um, are a really good ingredient they're high fiber all the smart people who are way smarter than me tell me to eat oats uh, my mom says we should eat oats every day and if we can have a giant jar of a healthy breakfast and snack then that's half the battle while we're all staying at home and getting on each other's nerves right okay yes so I almost put the chocolate chips in it and of course my daughter who is way smarter than me tells me that um, that we don't put the chocolate chips in right now. I have the oven going. Well, actually, I don't have the oven going. I bet you can see the oven behind me. I totally forgot to preheat it. But um, the oven should be at 350 degrees. And um, I'm going to turn it on now. And it's not going to be hot. But I will show you the end product, right? So hang on a second. And I'll show you how we kind of toss this in. So um, 15 minutes, 350 degrees, and you roll it out. I prefer a half sheet pan, and I will show you why I prefer a half sheet pan. It's because it kind of keeps the granola, keeps the oats and everything else really close together. And what happens is that it gets nice and lumpy. Well, it's tasty enough to taste right now, as you'll see. Um, it looks really yummy. The aroma is great because it's got a little bit of vanilla. It's got a little bit of um, maple syrup. I've added a little bit of sugar and we should totally add some salt in it. Um, but uh, should we? Okay, go for it. Bring the salt. Bring the salt, she says. Okay. Um, I normally add pink salt in it, but my pink salt is running low. And so, right, quarantine, pantry. Um, I'm going to have to clean that later because I just put sticky fingers on the salt bottle. Okay, so if you can see here, I'm going to show the folks on Instagram first and then Facebook. But it, it, I prefer a half sheet pan because it kind of stays tight and it stays together. Oh, wow, Melanie. Yes, it is looking really delicious. It's smelling delicious. Um, and then it gets really nice and lumpy if it stays together and then you put it in the oven 350 degrees 15 minutes and let it cool and you can eat it for breakfast lunch dinner snacks in between it's pretty yummy I'm gonna pop it in here and I will share the recipe I'm gonna put the timer here because I will forget. That's who I am. I will totally forget. Uh, but if you have any questions about the ingredients, um, well, there's a bunch of things that went in here um, that were anti-inflammatory, immunity boosting, right, Henny? Uh, what isn't anti-inflammatory and immunity boosting is chocolate chips, but you need to add some for total fun, right? Um, if these were dark chocolate chips, then of course they would be good in all kinds of ways. But the trick with the chocolate chips that you know is when do we add these chocolate chips after the granola is baked yes so you add it after the granola is baked um just when it's warm you take it out of the oven and toss it in and it works out wonderfully because it doesn't melt right and then the kids can pick it out and eat only the chocolate chips i oftentimes add other nuts cashew nuts and what do you think of the cashews 
Um, I like them, but I don't like it in vanilla. Yeah, right, but I like the cashews, so the kids pick it out and complain all the way. But that's... Yeah, yeah, Sissy complains, not her. What? Okay, uh, that's enough sharing. Um, hi, Yashi, nice to see you here. Um, I love your Instagram lives too. So Yashi, uh, my friend of Baby in Life, um, her handle is Yashi Anti. She does these amazing Instagram lives with her kids and she's cooking live with them, with both of them. Um, and she's pretty fabulous. So follow her if you want to see some fun recipes. Um, and then if you want to see more immunity boosting anti-inflammatory food from me, because that's what I know, right? This is a time where all of us are going through so much change. Our routines are completely transforming. Life is really not... Um, something that we can predict today. I find if I turn on the news, it's changing every day. So let's get um, cooking because I find time in the kitchen always inspires me, especially if, um, right, if we're um, using healthy ingredients and it wakes our bellies up and it's good for us and it boosts our immunity because, right, I don't want to get sick. You definitely don't, right? So that's it for me and I'll see you another time and I'll post the entire recipe on Facebook and on Instagram later on today and I'll post this video as well. Nice to see you. Bye.